What is going on guys? DJI has just recently released a firmware upgrade for the Osmo Action that addresses a number of issues. I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware and talk about what it fixes coming up after this. What's up guys? Nelson here. On this channel I do photography and tech-based tips, tricks, and tutorials. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So one of the things that I hope the new firmware fixes, although it doesn't say that it does, is the incredible lag when shooting with Rocksteady on. You'll notice the major delay in me moving my hand in front of the screen. It's pretty bad. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the Wi-Fi connection is enabled on the Osmo and that you have previously connected it to the DJI MIMO app. And make sure that your phone is connected to the Osmo Action Wi-Fi. Go ahead and fire up the DJI MIMO app. And you'll notice across the top, Osmo Action has a firmware update. This is version 1.3.0.1. So go ahead and click on that. So according to DJI, the firmware update includes the following fixes. Number one, optimized eight times slow motion video quality. Number two, fixed an issue when recording for an extended period, the video and audio became out of sync. Number three, fixed an issue when using playback, the camera occasionally restarted. And number four, fixed issue when recording, the camera could not connect to DJI MIMO. So go ahead and click install. You'll notice on the Osmo, it says updating and gives you the approximate time when the update will complete. All right, and the update was successful. And go ahead and click OK. All right, so click out of here. We've got Rocksteady on. This is at 4K 60. And I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And let's cross our fingers, guys. Nope, the terrible lag is still there. I sincerely hope that they are working on a fix for this because that is just freaking awful. Well guys, I've had a little bit of time to test drive the new features. The audio seems to be in sync now when recording long periods of time. The eight times slow video playback quality seems to be improved and no more disconnecting issues with the app that I've experienced. We didn't get a fix for the video lag when recording with Rocksteady and we still do not have a hyperlapse mode, but I'm pretty hopeful that a future firmware update will correct these issues. If you guys found this video useful, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Take care.